to get here. Today we have the Remington 700 SPS in a stainless configuration. This head does not have a magazine. It is a blind four plate. We you know load in the rounds from the top. We'll do some close-ups of that later. And it is all stainless steel construction. This is really an outdoors hunting rifle. That's what this is designed for. And it's got a plastic stock. This very light little bit of a, a butt plate right there. A little cushion to take that blow of that 30 odd six. You know, I've got a little bit of recoil there, especially shooting the heavier 100 and 180, 200 grain bullets. But so let's this take a closer is... look at these Remington 700 SPS right here. Uh, first thing is, this is a stainless steel gun right here. The trigger, the trigger guard, all the internals, the barrel, the action, the bolt. This is all stainless steel on this firearm right here. And the finish of it, it's been sandblasted in the factory, so it's, uh, and it's good to go reflection. This is a flat out hunting rifle. This is changing for the odd six Springfield. Uh, this was a stock configuration the way it came from Remington. This is a plastic stock right here. It's got a little rubber butt plate on here. And the stock is very light. And as cheap as these stocks are, they're functional, they're light, and you don't have to worry about them corroding. And if you bang it up or ding it up, it doesn't matter because you can buy these probably used for 40 bucks. Um, we're pretty close to new. Um, when I disassembled my Remington 700, I think I sold the old camel stock for 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, but that's that's it right there. And um, all right, you can see my shooting position here. <clears throat> I've got my uh, dog set up at about seven yards in front of me. Um, he looks a little cold, so we're gonna try to wrap this up soon. But I have my uh, six-inch targets. I've just got the rifle zeroed. That about 100 yards right there, and then you can see my plate all the way out there, and that's about 225. So we're going to do a little plate ringing right now, and uh, see how that goes. So let's talk about more of the specifics of the gun. This is a long action gun. That's what a Springfield 30 uh, out 6 is right there. And this gun does not have a magazine, a removable magazine. It is a, they call it a blind floor plate. So you basically jam the rounds in from the top, and I believe this one holds three plus one. So it'll hold three in there and one in the chamber. Um, and the scope is, those are weaver rings on there, and this is a Leopold VX 3x9 power scope. Real simple, basic scope. Um, it was about $200, and I also have a, a separate review of this scope on uh, YouTube, so we'll take a look at it. Um, but, you know, we wanted to build this rifle and keep it a hunting rifle. And then the bases on here came with the rifle, so I'm not sure what those bases are, but I'm guessing they're probably weavers also, if I, if I were to guess. We wanted to keep the rifle light. The first thing you notice about this rifle is how light it is. You know, this thing, it weighs nothing. It bounces very well. Uh, it is, it's a very, very light rifle, very cool rifle. You know, it's a hunting rifle. He, my brother doesn't want to modify it at all. He wants to build a hike in the woods with this, you know, and it's got, you know, your clean circle studs. It's got one up here on the top, one on the bottom of the stock. All right, so we're going to simulate a deer up there. We've got a three liter, uh, some Hawaiian punch up there. We're going to go ahead and whack that. All the way up at the 225 yard mark. And, you know, we're going to keep it in this because I'm really good at taking guns apart, making them heavy, adding heavy barrels and bipods and all sorts of parts to them to make them really heavy, heavier scopes. But this, this is a good gun. And the, the other thing is you can get this wet. You know, and it's not going to hurt it at all. You know, it's plastic and it's stainless, so this thing's going to last forever. Um, the other thing is, it's a lot of bolt action guns are a lot of fun to shoot. You know, to, to I, I love manipulating the bolt on a good bolt action gun. It's a ton of fun. The one thing is, this chambered in 30 odd six, this has got some recoil behind it. This, has some kick. this is getting close to a, you know, a 12 gauge shock, and I don't think it's quite there. Maybe with a light 12 gauge load, but this is. Uh, this has got some kick because it's light. And my 308 weighs double what this gun weighs, and it's probably half the amount of recoil for you know a comparable uh, round. And that's the next thing I want to talk about is the chambering of 30 odd six. The only thing you might want to do if you do not hand load, again, if you do not hand load and you buy factory ammunition to hunt with or to target practice with, I might go for a short action. I might go for a 308 because the gun will be a little smaller. You'll sh save about an extra inch, inch and a half of uh, bolt, also the receiver area, so the gun will be lighter in a short action. Also, it'll be a little handier. It's not going to have that, that such a long throw. It'll be quicker to cycle the, the rifle. Um, 
And if you don't hand load factory load factory loads, you can get a 308 and 30-06 odd that are pretty much the same thing. I mean, they shoot the same bullets. Um, you know, it, unless you hand load. If you hand load a 30 odd six, you can push it past a 308, but uh, you know, by a good 10, 15 percent of power. But not not with factory ammunition. They're pretty close. They're pretty identical. You know, maybe five percent more power with 30 odd six, but that's nothing. You know, for that doesn't really matter. But short action, you can get this in great chamberings. You know, you probably you can definitely get a seven millimeter 08, 308, 243. Uh, you know, long action's great too. It just depends what you want. But I would I would recommend looking at the short action. But my brother wanted a thirty odd six, and you know I hand loaded. We're gonna get some dies with thirty odd six. I'm gonna put him on my press, and he's gonna start making some of, some of his own uh, rifle cartridges. Yeah, this rifle's a lot of fun to shoot. It's light. I don't think if you wanted to go to the range a lot and target shoot, I don't think this would be your first choice. This is definitely heavy on the recoil uh, because it's light. Also, this the thinner barrel profile heats up, you know, and you're going to lose accuracy over time. My brother and I were shooting side by side. My 308, you know, which has got a big heavy varmint barrel, and uh, and this rifle, and you know, after a few shots, you can see his groups wandering around. But this is definitely this this rifle, cold bore is. Uh, you know, first few shots is, is definitely a sub MOA gun, um, but you know, you, you can take it to the range. It wouldn't be my first choice, but um, you know, very cool. And if you have any questions, I want you to post them below. You know, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, check out my other videos from my other seven seven hundred, you know, Remington seven hundred build. Uh, but yeah, and also I like the the Leopold scopes are nice. They're simple, you know, VX one. But this is this is a rifle, you know. You can throw this together pretty quick uh, on a budget. This is good up to a thousand yards. You know, I wouldn't hunt with it at a thousand yards, but I mean, you can target shoot with it at a thousand yards and have some fun with it. And uh, but very cool. You know, thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it.